Tamaki loved butterflies. He found them intriguing with their vibrant and beautifully painted wings, and often envied how they could fly anywhere they wanted to go. He would catch them as a child, only to look at the different kinds of wings each butterfly had and let them fly away. That was how he met you. You approached Tamaki one day while he was out scouting for the flying insects. You were quite an outgoing person. A social butterfly, as they say. Not that he didn't like the newly given attention, he just wasn't used to anyone else other than Mirio, so he felt shy. And that was the first time he ever felt butterflies fluttering in his stomach, so he didn't know how to handle it. But that first encounter was years ago. Now, you and Tamaki were close. So close, in fact, that he had grown quite the attraction to you. In his eyes, you were the most beautiful human being he's ever seen. But did you feel the same way? Tamaki doubted it. He felt like he would ruin his friendship with you if he confessed how he felt, and that was the last thing he wanted, figuring that it would be better to stay friends. Tamaki! He heard you call out his name from behind. You ran up next to your best friend, standing next to his side with your books clutched against your chest. Ready to go home? He simply nodded in response and began walking alongside of you. You always knew Tamaki as a quiet boy of few words and you were comfortable with the silence, but lately it felt as if he didn't like you. Little did Tamaki know that you harbored romantic feelings towards him as well, however you really couldn't tell if he liked you back and it made you a little bit sad. He even brought it up to Mirio and Najiri and they said that he definitely did, but there were no signs for you to go off of. Traveler? Tamaki managed to muster out, taking note of how stern your face looked more than usual. Are you... Okay. You're really quiet today. He frowned as you let out a sigh, nervous about what you were going to say. <sighs> Tamaki, I really like you. In a more than friends way, you know? Um, but I really can't tell if you like me too. Sometimes I feel like you don't- Traveler? He replied softly, blushing, and fighting against the feeling of the butterflies that threatened to burst out of his stomach. With all of the courage he could muster up, Tamaki slowly laced his fingers with yours and held your hand softly. Uh, I do too. At this point, the both of you have stopped walking. His beet red face was turned away from you to avoid your gaze that was now locked onto him. Tamaki inwardly cringed at his confession and felt like burying his face against a wall and making eye contact with you would only make him want to lock himself away from the world forever. You grasped his hand tighter with yours and continued walking on forward with the largest smile on your face. Although words weren't exchanged, his actions spoke volumes and that was more than enough for you. It made you happy to know that he felt the same way about you and Tamaki could tell by how you began to ramble on about random things that happened throughout the day. As you were leading the way home, he couldn't help but appreciate how colourful you were and how brightly you lit up. Your cheeks and nose were turned pink from the cold that nipped at your skin. Your eyes seemed to sparkle more than usual underneath the rays of sunlight, and your hair that complemented your face so perfectly flowed against the wind making you seem almost angelic. With an adorning smile on his face, Tamaki knew then that he had caught the most rare and beautiful butterfly of them all. <laughs>